Hey everyone, this is just a really quick one demonstrating uh, MMDVM usage on the Kenwood TK9031s to make a perfect uh, 900 megahertz uh, ham band digital repeater. Whether you're doing DMR, such as this uh, Moto Turbo XPR series, or if you're doing P25, this works as a pretty straightforward 900 repeater. So, the transmit radio doesn't need too many mods other than um, it needs direct modulator access. So you do need to solder one, um, one wire on the circuit board. The receiver does need three mods. You need to, um, a little like two to four picofarad capacitor on the receive VCO to get it to lock down at 902. Uh, you also need a front end filter to replace the 935 megahertz filter so it actually has uh, sensitivity down at 902. I just use the 915 megahertz ISM band, uh, 25 megahertz wide uh, filters. And then uh, three, you need direct access to the discriminator. So th that's another tap point on the board. But other than that, it works uh, works pretty well and it's pretty straightforward. These are uh, nice radios to use for, uh, um, for this just because um, they're not as uh, feature full as like the 981s. Okay, I'll just demonstrate it real quick. I've got it on 927.525, parrot mode. Keyed it up, sees a signal here on MMDVM. And this is W0SKY testing DMR 1234554321 DMR parrot mode with the TK931 900 megahertz radios. Up. Single signal from the DVM. And this is W0SKY testing DMR 12345-54321 DMR parrot mode with the TK931 900 megahertz radios. And we've got our signal here. Yeah, this is my buddy's radio, so um 0.6 bit error rate. I uh, could probably do some tweaking, get it a little better, but um, haven't really adjusted the levels or anything. So uh, pretty good. Uh, works pretty well. I've also tested on P25. So uh, the 931s are good DMR radios. Um, they're good uh, MMDVM radios. The 981s work as well. I haven't tested the 941s, but I'm sure they would work. Um, and those are, the TK941s would probably be ideal since they don't even do a fixed, uh, they don't even work for a 25 megahertz offset. On the transmit side, uh, all you have to do is to connect the MMDVM and directly into the modulator input, bypassing all the high pass, low pass filters and pre-emphasis, et cetera. And the way to do that is to hook into VR100 on the top end here which is the output um, so this is the this is the modulation set pot and because the levels are uh, the, the voltage needed is pretty high so we set the modulation to uh, so set it just to the output to give us the max volume uh, for that MMDVM board so I had just have that going out directly to the um, cable to the rear of the radio uh, and replace the mic input with that on the receive radio, there's a couple mods that need to be done. Um, first is the front end filter. So the original transmit front end filter works, um, it's like 935 to 941 or 930 to 950 or something. Uh, so that needs to be replaced with the 902 filter. So here I've got a, I've got three total filters that are 915 and they're about 25 megahertz wide. So they cover the entire hand band. So that's the first mod that needs to be done on the receive end. Um, second, to get it to receive at 902, where repeater inputs are, you need to um, do a VCO mod, and that just consists of soldering a little uh, two or two to four picofarad capacitor just to the VCO uh, um, to the VCO voltage stage. So, um, yeah, I put a two picofarad cap in here. It's be it's beneath this can, but uh, you can get the info on uh, Kenwood 902. And then the third mod is you need um, discriminator discriminator audio out for the receive audio. 
So I'm pulling this off of um, right where, right about where it says IC204, 104, there's a test point here near the two, and that's direct discriminator audio, bypassing all the filtering. So then I take that audio and I put it into the, I'm using the, the horn alert um, on the accessory connector because that's not really needed for anything that I can think of. So I'm just connecting directly to the horn alert on the on the rear accessory connector and then that'll go out to the MMDVM board. Anyway, that's it. Um, just a quick video showing MMDVM capability on the 900 megahertz TK931. And as of uh, this video, I have four of these radios left, so I, I can build two repeaters if anyone is interested in one of them. Um, not a whole lot, but so it'll probably go away pretty quickly, but as of this video, I do have four, four more radios so I can build two repeaters. So email me if interested.